Welcome into the Rowdy Studio. I am Buzz Cutler sitting next to Bass Masters, who is sitting next to a Goodyear Racing Eagle. Taking the week off. He's taking the week off. He is? Yeah, he doesn't have to do much at Talladega. No? Just doesn't need a lot of grip. Talladega? Talladega. Not nah. a handling racetrack? Nope. Well, wh I'm curious, with all these rules changes yeah. going on at Talladega, what your prediction is regarding what we may see at the racetrack on Sunday? Well, this is interesting, Buzz Cutler, because what I'm wondering is how long are these drivers going to spend in the two-car draft? Some That's the I've question. heard as little as a couple of laps. That's what I've heard, too. Because, look, I think we can be sure that at the end of the race, the two-car draft will prevail. Everyone wants to find their partner because that's still the fastest way around the racetrack for one, two laps, whatever it is. Are we going to see a lot of two-car drafts during the race with guys swapping and all that stuff? How early do you feel like you need to be in your two-car tandem to get to the end so and be where you want to be? You think there might be a big, massive pack that at opportune times breaks off into two-car drafts? Is Poss that what you're saying? What I'm saying is... I think there'll be some guys that decide they're going to stick together as a two-car draft throughout the race. I think there may be other guys who say, you know, we don't need to work on this all race. Because when you get right down to it, at Talladega, the first 490 miles, maybe even more, it's all about practice, maybe enjoying it's yourself. It's all about survival, dude. Well, look, survival, preparing for the end of the race, and maybe enjoying yourself by leading a lap and you know, getting a, uh, an extra bonus point here Enjoying or there. yourself. Just, just having some fun. These here, guys are race car can drivers. Can I share with you my concern? Please Because I have a concern that I would like to share with all of you. Please do. Please do. With these two-car drafts and the new, um, what we what we anticipate to being the, the necessity. Increased swapping. Increased swapping. I am concerned that that will lead to more wrecks. Because you're, you're going like this, then all of a sudden you got to pull out to swap. Some guy is coming up behind you. You're losing speed. They're overtaking you very quickly. Agreed. And you're up in this other line where they didn't necessarily expect you to be. I'm just concerned that the increased swapping is going to lead to an increase in wrecks. Well, that's possible, although I will say, to my eye, the wrecks happen when a guy's pushing another guy and he gets a little bit out of whack and pushes him around. That, too. That seems to be more the cause of wrecks and than the swapping. Now, obviously, but, but when you have cars passing each other at 15 or 20 miles an hour faster, that's what I'm saying. It, there is a potential for mistakes there. I agree with you, which is why I think some guys may opt out altogether and say, I don't need this speed right now. I need it at the end of the race. And then the question becomes, when do I set myself up for the end of the so race? So they don't feel the need, the need for speed. You don't need the speed until the end of the race. Well, you know, this that's is all, the truth. This you is need to stay on the lead lap and find your partner and be sure how you're going to work it at the end, and then you need to play your cards right at the end of the race. But do you need to lead lap 30? No, you don't. Unless you're trying to figure something out. Right. Uh, but how many laps is it going to take you to figure it out? Not many, in my opinion. Well, so if, if you ask me, I think you will see some guys opt out of that for most of the race. The thing is, we have recorded this all on, on, on digital something. It's not tape. What is it? It's a card. On a, on a P2 card. This yeah. is all recorded for um, posterity. <laughs> you think it's going to live in the future, this? So that on Monday, we'll know. Folks can come back and they can check right. the accuracy of what happened Not only versus that, what we predicted. But we don't know what they're going to try in practice. You know, a lot of that stuff maybe you can figure out in practice or feel like you can figure practice. out in practice. Exactly. We talk in practice? Yes, we are. But we talk in the end of this video, too. All right. Well, then say goodbye and let's let the people go. Goodbye and let's let the people go. Goodbye, people. You may go now. Rowdy.com. Let my people go. They're not your people. Just They're not your people. Say it like it is. Just need to show you how I changed my walking stick into a cobra? No, that's okay. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com. <laughs>